Construction work to build a new pedestrian tunnel that will connect travelers from Toronto's mainland to the Billy Bishop Airport continues to progress. Seven drift tunnels have been completed as workers continue to excavate the shafts to make room for the pedestrian tunnel. Gary Benner, Vice President of Technicor Underground, the subcontractor of the project, says everything is right on schedule. Uh, here we are at the uh, Billy Bishop Airport, uh, standing in front of the compound where we've sunk the shaft on the island. Uh, behind me is a 350 ton crane that we used to hoist the broken rock out of the tunnel. We've been here for a year. We're almost down to the bottom in another two weeks. We will leave this site to the general contractor to start the elevator shafts and we will move over to the mainland shaft to start mining the large tunnel under the channel. Um, we expect to be finished uh, by the end of 2013. Uh, we will be doing the concreting in the tunnel and then we will leave it to PCL, the general contractor, to build the elevator shaft on the mainland. And uh, it's all going very well. We have seven drifts installed so far, all interlocking. It went very successfully and we expect the main tunnel to be equally successful. Uh, the, the only issues we've had are the rock was in not that good a shape on the mainland. Um, there's, there was an existing tunnel built, started in 1935, that was abandoned due to political change. The piling was left in place. Uh, we had fractured rock, also possibly due to blasting of the channel in 1958. It required additional reinforcement of the shaft because there was rock movement, and we accomplished that, and it's been stable ever since, but that was the biggest issue. The pedestrian tunnel is scheduled to open up to travelers next spring. For more construction news and updates, check out the DCN online and follow us on Twitter. I'm Andre Wajaja for the Daily Commercial News.